We've created a generation of narcissistic women. What's happened is the rise of social media and the rise of online dating and the rise of feminism has taught women that they are not to blame for any poor choices. Every poor choice is glamorized. So if you want to be a sex worker, it's great. If you want to post in bikini pictures online, it's fine. Every poor choice is glamorized and every internal reflection is seen as gaslighting yourself. So they've even got terms for internal reflection to prevent it happening. So what will happen is they are trained to not reflect on themselves because we've been told we've been oppressed for so many years. Now it's time to make sure we project. What is up everyone? My name is C. Welcome to the C Talks channel. If you are new, do not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Let's keep growing the C Talks channel. I played you guys that clip at the beginning that was Sadia Khan and she was talking about how social media, online dating, and feminism have created a generation of incredibly narcissistic women. Let's get into it. I totally agree with what Sadia said in that video. So Webster's Dictionary defines narcissism as extremely self-centered with an exaggerated sense of self-importance, i.e. modern women, marked by or characteristic of excessive admiration or infatuation with oneself. Who does that remind you of? We have to just be honest with ourselves and the fact that modern women are incredibly narcissistic. I did a video about women self-rating themselves 10 out of 10, which is something they all do a couple of videos back. And I asked myself, is it that they all believe that they're 10 out of 10s? I think they do. I think they all believe they're 10 out of 10 beauty. I think they're young modern women are incredibly narcissistic and they just see themselves as the best thing that's ever existed. But you're a human being just like me. Remember that if you go online and look at social media, you'll see women putting pictures of themselves up. They're scantily clad. They're almost naked in bikinis. They're on a beach somewhere. They're on vacation somewhere. They're showing off their bum. Hey, I like big bums and I cannot lie. But and, and if you look at the comments of those pictures, it's other women saying, yes, you go. You're a 10 out of 10. You're a top girl. You're the best thing that's ever happened to the world. It's ridiculous. It's dumb. Women can sign up for OnlyFans and sell pictures of themselves scantily clad. They can sell feet pictures. They can pretty much do online sex work. And there's no problem with that. And that's totally fine. Women can have wild phases. H.O. phases. They can have hot girl summers. It's all fine and dandy. It's all cool. And there's nothing wrong with anything that they do because everything they do is just perfectly fine. Thumbs up. Women are not to blame for any of their poor choices. That's what Sadia says. And I totally agree. Women are just allowed to do whatever they want. And it's perfectly fine and cool. As a man, my poor choices were not glamorized. I admit that I did a lot of stupid stuff in my late teens and early 20s and when people found out about the things that i was doing people told me what are you stupid what are you why are you doing this that was dumb you shouldn't be doing that don't do that again what's wrong with you as a man as a young minority male i was held accountable by the people around me if i was a woman in today's day and age would i be held accountable for posting myself scantily clad on the internet hooking up with a ton of guys, making poor decisions and picking guys that I shouldn't be picking to date. I don't think I would be held accountable for these bad decisions. I don't. But we live in a modern world where women's poor choices are glamorized. Where is the self-reflection on social media? Because social media platforms are a way for people to bond, connect, keep in touch with each other, but all I really see is people being incredibly fake with each other and dishonest. And just it's, it's a highlight reel of people's lives. I don't think social media lends itself to be an authentic and honest environment. It just it just became the highlight reel of everybody's life. It's ridiculous. So that's where most modern women are. They're on social media and the people on these platforms, for the most part, are not holding each other accountable. 
it's sad, really. All right. My name is C. If you liked this video, you'll also like this other video up on the screen. I will be back with more videos soon. Peace.